I, I think it's important to sort of study the examples of social justice activist biographies to, to sort of see what is the, the moment in their lives that uh, made them have a kind of, uh, in Latin America we call about the, the, the consciousness raising point or, or what was that sort of process that brought about these kinds of changes. Cesar Chavez, who grew up primarily as a farm worker, who had to go into the military at some point in order to be able to take care of his family, uh, and then had to go back after the military service into the fields to work. And it wasn't until much later, for instance, in his life that Cesar Chavez was able to, to sort of develop a middle class lifestyle, working as a community organizer for the community services organization in Los Angeles. But Cesar Chavez worked his way into a middle class job and a lifestyle as an organizer, was making a pretty decent salary as an organizer, getting people to uh, Mexican Americans primarily in Los Angeles to register to vote. He was doing very, very good work, but what he realized at a certain point is he said, I want to take this organization so that we mobilize and uh, uh, energize farm workers. And he took this proposal to the community services organization's uh, board, and they turned him down and said, uh, we don't really think that this population is uh, one that we can work with very well. They're transient, and uh, it would be very difficult for us to organize them. So we would rather that you stick around and try to ur uh, work with urban Mexican-Americans and try to turn them into democratic electorates. And Cesar Chavez said, no, I don't want to continue doing this work. I want to work with farm workers, so I'm going to turn in my letter of resignation and I'm going to take whatever savings I have and I'm going to go work with the farm workers. This is an interesting period because he had been doing work for CSO for 10 years, had really pulled his family in some sense out of the kind of poverty of farm work. But he decided that that wasn't enough, and it, uh, it was about those personal collect connections, right, of his own memory, of his own parents, of being displaced as a young person, uh, and the injustices uh, that happened to farm workers, and say, we need to build new organizational models, new organizational structures that will address the least advantage. So we can learn a couple of things, I think, from this, is that sometimes what leadership means is uh, having to leave positions of power and privilege and become uh, uh, relatively powerless, right? Leaving uh, structures that we uh, have uh, in place and try to figure out building new models of conflict resolution, of organizing, of doing things in a different way. And that means beginning from scratch is what, what he did essentially with the United Farm Workers, is that even in among social justice circles, Sometimes our structures aren't going to do the work that really needs to be done to address structural violence. Sometimes we're just going to have to give up on the good work that we are doing and try something alternatively without any sense that there could be success.